This series of short videos is based on Robert Caldini's excellent book, Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion, first published in 1984 and as relevant today as it was then. In his book, Dr. Caldini reviews six methods of influencing people's behaviour, and I'd like to look briefly at how you can adapt these methods for creating and delivering persuasive presentations. At the end of this video, you'll have the opportunity to test the effectiveness of your presentations, so keep an eye open for information on that. The subject of this video is likability, one of the six influencing methods identified by Dr. Caldini. Likability is quite subtle in the way it works. There's one aspect of this that relates to the natural and obvious thing to do in terms of being a nice person to do business with, so showing respect for colleagues, clients and suppliers, turning up for meetings on time, following through with commitments, that sort of thing. There's also the slightly wider viewpoint of having fair terms and conditions and behaving promptly, pragmatically and professionally if things go wrong. So far, so good. The slightly more subtle nature of likability is to create an aura of, gosh, I'd like to be like him or her. The sort of behaviour that causes colleagues to say to each other, wow, you know, we really ought to be like XYZ, they're an impressive bunch. So how do you go about creating this aura during a presentation? Well, in truth, it's a melange of many different aspects. Certainly, you want to make sure that you're addressing the needs of the audience as closely as you can. Put them and their needs at the centre of your performance. For sure, you'll want to radiate confidence and conviction, and that comes from practice and from really knowing your material. In my experience, people often know much more about their subject matter than they give themselves credit for. The very, the very act of writing out prompt cards helps people memorise their key points, leading to the cards themselves being redundant by the time the presentation is delivered. More often than not, cue cards end up being kept in hand as a comfort blanket, if you like, against any last-minute stage fright. One more tip for radiating confidence is to know the order in which supporting graphics appear, such as PowerPoint or Keynote. Presenters who keep having to look behind themselves all the time break eye contact with the audience and in so doing lose that ever so vital connection. Your audience is more important than your slides. Examples of previous projects and the approach of your organisation also help build likability, especially if linked to flexibility and good results, which, of course, relate to other methods of influence addressed in other videos in this series. You can learn more about presentation effectiveness by watching my video dedicated to measuring the effectiveness of your presentation. That's on this YouTube channel as well. Well, I hope that helps you influence more people and win more business. Thanks for watching.